Okay guys, I'm back with Windows 10 Insider Funny Bug has another bug in build 16226 has just come out and I find it. What you wanna do? So now the possibility of two. Either this is a really bug or this is just something I'm doing wrong. Anyways, this was not happening in build uh, in the last build it was uh, 16215 and happened now. Now what the bug is about, you might you might ask. Well, if you look at my code here in uh, for coder, I have a coder here. In, uh, when I want to close my application, uh, sorry, when I do we we am quit, then somewhere here, uh, or we am close, I'd rather say. What I'm doing, what I used to do, is just call an exit process zero and uh, exit the process. Basically, when I get a call, when I get a message of VM close, I close the process. Uh, having this global running now, I've changed it because this is a project, and probably this is also something that caused the, the problem. Uh, this um, this thing is not using the Windows uh, runtime library. This is I built my from scratch. There is a Fantastic video from Vogesan, I think, or, or some like that, that to tell you how you're doing that. So you basically don't link your winter to up with the runtime library, reducing very, 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 very much the space that the executable uh, use and really make it more quick. So I don't use any it. And basically, you just uh, say not a full limb and then you define entry point is win main GRT startup and you got some instances. Anyways, at the end of all of this, what I'm doing is after I have my while loop that say while uh, while uh, is a uh, global running, I just say, look, I exit the process and I look at what happened in this build. So in the last build it worked, and this build is not working. So as you might see, this is uh, my demo of something I'm building. As soon as I click on close, the application crash. And I'm pretty tell you that this thing was not happening in the last build. Now, if we debug it with Visual Studio, we won't get any uh, advanced information because Visual Studio doesn't uh, load the Windows symbol. And if you tell you to load the Windows symbol, it's just taking thousands of years to to start debugging. So we're gonna run it with uh, WinDB uh, with uh, WinDBG, the 64-bit version of WinDBG. And we're gonna say yes. We're gonna open an executable. And here is my executable. And we're gonna tell him to go here and we're gonna tell him to run. So this is now running, so we're running all the DLL. Uh, we start doing some debugging, I think, if I remember. Yep. So, yep. So, and here we have our application uh, running, and as soon as I click this, this is gonna crash. And looking at the, the information code is that the exception is this exception, 0C0000, and of course, what the hell Microsoft is doing, because this is an unknown exception. So, you know, what you need to do. I have no idea what you need to do. When Microsoft tell you that there is something that... Uh, let me just get a little bit bigger the code, because I don't know if this is reading, so... Just setting this uh, with the option. So I'm change the font. Maybe this is more readable to change the font to the version more. Uh, with 12, it's the font I use normally. Oh, I think this is more readable. Yes, it is. Have a look at my other windows where I have uh, open OBS. And this is the exception, basically. Okay, we raise a fail fast exception. Interesting point is that this happened, and I can count this with my vector handler exception. Handler. I don't know why. Maybe there is a reason. And if you look at some stuck traces of this uh, exception, let's just. First, uh, we don't have the symbol for cannot have to do the allow. Not really important. And uh, we see that we got some index out of range. And I think that the exception happened here in my export conversation. So. Either here, I don't know why. This not tell me to load uh, my sample windows. Okay, so let me just open the sample windows, put it on the top. And I think this exception happening right here when we're calling this index out of range. So I don't know what Microsoft is doing, uh, but whatever it is doing is just breaking this thing. Because um, you can, you may ask, okay, this is something that happened uh, only on your application. Well, this is not true. Because 
are on the screen, I might tell you attention to you, as I have another application that is still not using the Windows Runtime Library. So I think that maybe the bug is about not using the, the standard the Windows uh, Runtime Library because I have another uh, thing. This time is a Vulkan test. It's a, there is a series of tutorial on in, on YouTube. There used to be because there is no more tutorial like in four or five more. How about Vulkan? So if my see about Le Vulkan, we get this thing about Vulkan. And again, as soon as I close this application, we get a crash. So, and I'm pretty sure the crash is the same. So let's check uh, together if the crash is the same. So you will gonna say, close the current windows. Oh, we saw the bug in here. So we open it. It's good, and now we go from the Vulcan thing. You go. Uh, using an old version of book. Uh, no way to you. Anyway, this is some bug happening. Uh, but as soon as I close in, again, uh, kernel based IP security process exception that. Um, so, I think maybe something about not using the the Windows runtime library. Because I, I think pretty sure that the exception is the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the same. In the south of range. On this assembly, whatever I do, I got this failed loop and I have this. So, yeah, so anyone, this was a fun bug because this is happening in this build. So, I rather doing something wrong myself, not using the Windows Front End library, but I don't want to use the Windows Front End library. So, yes, maybe that is a thing, but, anyways, this is all. And uh, see you next time for the next fun bug of Windows 10 Insiders.